I could be imagining way. it, but those ship silhouettes look. Oh, I see. The ships are floating. If you have a look, and I know they're supposed to float, but like they're literally their keels are on top of the water. I can see their rudder. You know, if the rudder's not in the water, you can't move. Also, that's an Iowa class battleship. America. 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 Fuck yeah. Semper mother fucking fi. Oh my lord. We are starting with strong ones, <laughs> boys. All right, first mission. This, this mission is notoriously a nightmare on veteran difficulty, right? Like, yeah. even by the standards of like other veteran missions with the grenade spam, this one because there's so many locations that enemies show up in. This mission on veteran is just a nightmare in single player. Like, whoa. Uh, making making at all. Oh, do you speak Japanese? Sorry. <laughs> you are strong. Sama wa tsukumai. Gojo na yatsume. Tell him a fucking thing. Oh, it's private pile. Name so, because he's going to be in a pile of bodies. I mean, it's probably a reference to Full Metal Jackets. Oh, it is 100% is. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Oh, shit. All this. All this because we insulted his wife. Like, this is kind of, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Amelia is not best girl. You can deal with it. I don't even like. I told, I told you, you shouldn't talk shit on Hagenai, pile. <laughs> Oh, we got saved! Thank oh, thank God. Thing. We live to insult a waifu another day. <laughs> now, I don't know. Throw one in here for Scott. Arsenal's not the best girl, you can deal with it. Bang! <laughs> there we go, that's number one. Why not? What are you taking? I'm gonna grab the M1, actually. Grab yeah, go nuts. I'm go I've got a SMG, so... Give me the M1, give me the M1. Baller. I'm gonna grab an Arasaka when I get the chance. Ah, yep, yes. There we go. To fully embrace the weep experience. I just found a death card. Hell yeah. You know, oh, I... oh, we left the score on this time, so now we have incentives <laughs> to commit war crimes. <laughs> oh god, grenade! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ow! I got a purple heart. <laughs> I pressed G to throw it back and I just threw my own grenade. Like an idiot. Classic. You know what's great? No, not I lost my bonus. <laughs> no, not I one lost grenade, my bonus. What, that, that bit of wall is penetratable. Or penetrable. Fucking wow, I can't English today, guys. Nihongo Daijobu. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my god, he just got stabbed in the face. Did I set this on Harden? I don't think I did. Yeah, it feels kinda... It feels light. kinda easy. I saved Private Ryan! It's uh, okay! It's okay! We can forget Matt Damon exists! Yeah, this is too easy. Like, this is way too easy. <laughs> Should we reset? Nah, we're in it now. We might as well just go for it. <laughs> we'll change oh, it for oh. the future ones. Well, rip. Well, that was a, <laughs> that feels like a war crime. Isn't though? Arasaka with a bayonet. Outstanding. Whoa! Our radio man just got wrecked. Thompson. No grenade. No grenade. So I go from the Nambu pistol, and now I'm rocking the Thompson. Look at these. Okay, so the only real issue I can see initially is their uniforms. Like these guys have got like the sort of late, like, 43, 44 sort of camo pattern uniforms that the Marines had. This guy's got the right kind of hat. Like, they really should have standard, um, basic jungle green dungarees right now. 
But check it out, the BAR is correct. This BAR doesn't have a carrying handle, so Jonathan Ferguson will be happy. So there's that, because every other World War II game has a BAR with a carrying handle. Holy shit, V, you're like calling ahead in the score, you're just... Stacking bodies. Good work, Marines. Keep it up. Play enough PUBG with the car 98 and that, and you'll <laughs> climb very quickly. Oh boy. What the hell is this? Check it out. Looks like it. You can visibly see the ropes! Yeah, right? <laughs> like, I get what they're doing, and it's cool, but like. Short bursts, guys. Short bursts. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? I'm... I'm going to prison. What did you do? <laughs> I shot a marine. <laughs> in the head. Well, given the marine's, him. Given the marine's track record, is that like a reverse war crime? You <laughs> by shooting him, you've prevented numerous ones from being committed. Oh, I freaking love this bit. Grenade! It's so badly programmed too, because like, if you shoot them prior to the, uh... Like, the flare going off, they'll stand up still, even if they're dead. Yeah. I think that's because they're technically corpse models until the game activates, and then they reanimate, basically. And then they die again. I live. I die. I live again. Why am I st stuck? The Emperor protects, friends! Except, not that Emperor, a different one. The neo-fascist future Emperor, instead of the actual fascist, um... Not, you know what I mean, like, Heavenly Sovereign, guy who sits in a throne room and does literally nothing. Unlike most Americans, we are now intentionally spilling oil. And here we go. Plant the bomb! Yeah, 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 we need to plant C4. Where's you planning it? Yep. Yes. Okay, time to leave. Time to leave. We need to bail. We need to bail. To bail. Holy shit. Now, this is probably how the Vanguard developers feel. They are literally uh, running. They're literally running away from all of my subscribers, and this is how they must feel right about now. Quick, we've run in. We've torched our franchise, and now we're going to run. Hang on. Quick question: Did you get blown up too? Or are we both like? Yeah, we're both single screen right now, even despite the fact that we shouldn't be. Okay, so like, am I in control of both of us, or? I don't know. Are you out of bullets? No, I just shot a friendly. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I have to take counters off the war crime counter because I just killed a marine, which means I've prevented some. Here we go. It's time. I've got the steam guide up. <laughs> <laughs> so, landing vehicle tank. Stay alert, stay alive. Now our uniforms are correct. <laughs> so, I looked it up. LST278 was actually an LST at Peleliu, so they've done their homework. Also, those were F4U Corsair 1As by the looks of them. Didn't get a good look at the cockpit, so it might be Ds. But, what did he drop? And they've got Napalm. Yep. Excellent. Are they LVTs? Oh, and those are the, like, rocket launching barges on the side, too. Oh, these things are cool. Oh, there goes that. There goes that one. One thing they've got about the beach landing on Peleliu correct is we're actually in the crossfire, or at least we should be in the crossfire of artillery battery. Yep, there they are. Bunkers on our 11 o'clock right there. Over there. And there's another one over to our right somewhere. Those over here. And LVTA. Landing vehicle track to Salt. Otherwise known as the Am Tank. And like every Call of Duty slash Medal of Honor game, we're going to get blown out of the track. In five, four, three... Two, two. One. Oh, come on. Wait for it. There it is. Ah. Now one day, we are actually going to exit a landing craft properly.
One there will day. be a game one day where we exit the learn <laughs> exit <laughs> safely. Uh, yeah, there's only one I can think of, which is Medal of Honor Allied Assault. In literally every other game where you land in a landing craft, you get freaking blown out of it. Incidentally, let's call in the rocket barrage. Let's see if they do the do the ships themselves launch them. Oh, they do. Oh, that's gangster. Let's look outside. Ah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try and do this fucking. I could be imagining works. it. But those ship silhouettes look. Oh, I see. The ships are floating, if you have a look. And I know they're supposed to float, but like, they're literally. Their keels are on top of the water. I can see their rudder. You know, if the rudder's not in the water, you can't move. Also, that's an Iowa class battleship. And this. This is kinda accurate. Getting stuck on the coral. This happened at Taroa as well. Pretty freaking nasty. And again, what is it with these tank traps with, like, the wood sticking out of them? Like, the Japanese One, didn't use... Two, three, four, five, six... Check it out. Look at this LMG. I love this gun so much. Fuck. Oh. Machine guns down. Oh, we got that. Like, wow, are you are you rocking a shotgun? No, I'm doing a grand. Oh, I apologize to you in chat for that awful pronunciation. Hmm. It's a grand. A grand. because oh, I pronounced it Australian. A garand. Technically, it's garand, but a garand. A garand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for nothing. Why did I apologize for being not American? Yeah, but like, it's like when you're pronouncing names in another language, you try and pronounce it like the way that they would pronounce it. Speaking as a veteran of having a foreign name, uh, most people do not. <laughs> well, I know your name. Yes, you know my name. Okay, I'm gonna go quickly try and do this thing again. You know, at least okay. I come from, like, an island of substance instead of some place in the Black Sea that pretends it's not Bosnia. <laughs> oh! 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 Them is fighting words, sir. At least mine was, you know, did, like, colonialism and genocide. What did yours do? <laughs> Made chivups, and that is all we need to do. <laughs> we don't have a ray gun. We That's tried. A... We tried. All you did was insult my country. Yeah, <laughs> instead. <well that's... laughs> It's fair. Fair. But you know. Back to the front line. We didn't desert. Hey! Nice to see you guys have like made a lot of progress since we were gone. Holy fuck. You took that guy's head clean off. Oh, have, you, have you ever seen the Uno reverse card? Ha! Bitch! Oh. What happened to you? Got shot. <laughs> oh shit, why is that so... We've only had one episode, Ivy, we're not allowed to have an inside joke. <laughs> oh god. Got him, don't worry. I am suppressed. Huh. Instead of depressed. Ah! Ah! Actually, I need a new mag. Oh god! Yeet! Airburst grenade. Uh, though. Ivy, are you really taking cover behind red barrels? Are you really? Are you really <laughs> taking cover? I am a man of principles! <laughs> I have a half a mind to shoot you just to blow them up. What are you doing with that shotgun? Actually, you know what? Never mind. Ow. Who is shooting me in the back? Oh! Is there a sniper in one of those trees? Yep. No, the ones behind us, I mean. I killed the guy in one tree. That's what you Splat. call Uno reversing. That's right, bitch. That's oh, right. Oh, what's this? Now. Uh, 
Come Where, on, boy. Where's your Bushido now? No, Wait. real. In okay, so this is where I get to shine. Um, a few years ago, a uh, PhD thesis came out about how Bushido is actually a completely constructed piece of history. It's not real. Really? Like at all? Yeah. No, he found no actual evidence of the words, the word Bushido, or any of the like corresponding themes of like a set code like there was stuff about honor and the like but nothing as codified as something like bushido as it's described by like japanese nationalists it's actually something really worth looking into if you've got the time what i find interesting like is something that extra credit said is like everybody in the sengoku period are like samurai focused on honor and the code of chivalry and all that sort of nonsense and the only people who actually kept their oaths and kept their agreements were the freaking ninjas of the Hattori clan. No one else did. Like, the moment things went sideways, everyone switched teams. But, like, the ninja, the sneaky assassin ninjas, are like, no, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna play by the rules. Wait, I can throw grenades back? Wow. Oh my god, I threw a grenade at your feet and you picked up my grenade and threw it at them. <laughs> that is teamwork. <laughs> Long live the Emperor, or a thousand years of long life for the Emperor. Huzzah. I think that's one of the most interesting things about World War II as a subject, is the difference between, like, the response to, uh, you know, Japanese imperialism and the like, and the Japanese front, and the sort of, at least, ostensible attempt at denazification in Europe, right? Eh, except we, d like, Japan? No. Absolutely none. The fact that, like, Emperor uh, Showa stayed in, like, power, yeah, sure, it wasn't as powerful. Uh, it's okay. Got him. I went down as soon as you got as oh, you God. got up. Get down. Mr. Obama, get down. Oh. We're Americans. We're not war criminals, apparently. We have smoke. I love how it took us this long. We just remembered we have smoke grenades. That would have been handy to remember a few minutes ago. Does he take... No, that's right. Like, Emperor Hirohito was... That was the Showa period, right? That's Showa. Yeah. Yeah, because he was re posthumously renamed to Showa, like all emperors are. They're renamed to their era names. So Akahito will become, one day, the Heisei... Emperor Heisei. Right? <laughs> I love how when they announced his name, someone in the West translated it as, like, order through strength or something, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's like, actually means, like, orderly peace, apparently, but I'm not sure. Are you, like, on the machine gun? Yes. Check it out. It's a Type 92 Nambu machine gun. Ow, ow, ow. And look. I don't know where the belt is. Should have one. Actually, no, it shouldn't. It should have a bunch of clips bolted together. But, like, at least this machine gun is really, really well modeled. And it's really cool, too. Like, the fire rate and everything. It's really excellent. You can just, like, technically this, with this one, you can just keep feeding it ammo until it sort of... <laughs> until it just, like... What did you do? Nothing. You tossed a smoke grenade. You actual muppet. <laughs> I am invisible to tanks now. <laughs> That's right. We will stand right in the middle of this inconspicuous smoke. We took the beach <laughs> from America. Uh, freedom. Uh, democracy. Life and liberty. And the pursuit of happiness. Wait for the major's orders. Like, I'm getting a, a, an enemy marker behind this door. If you point your rifle at it. <laughs> no! How, how are you we still, shot him we and shot everything! He's still dead! You're gonna be okay. You can't fake dying, <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> Sensu bean. <laughs> oh. Okay, or oh, airfield mission. The dumbest mission in Call of Duty history. Here we go. Is this the dumbest mission in Call of Duty history? The Call of Duty that I acknowledge as existing, yes. 
Because anything after Modern Warfare 3, I do not acknowledge is existing. I'm fairly sure there's a mission in Modern Warfare 2 where you ride a snow bike with, with a fucking submachine gun fighting other people on snow bikes <laughs> and submachine guns. I feel like that might be stupider. Yeah, but in this one, there is, like, a ton of Also, you can't win the mission if you don't do the stupidest <laughs> jump known <laughs> to man. <laughs> uh, who, who puts the crack in their fucking <laughs> coffee in the morning? I, I don't know, man. The same guy who does the uh, animation on Dress Up Darling, apparently. Have you seen that? Good point, good point. <laughs> like, <laughs> The, the amount of detail they're putting into all of the fan service elements in that show. Like, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Truly, uh, cultured men. The audience. The audience is a easily banded target. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, like, the animation and art style is really good, though. It's insanely it is really good. good. It's a shame that the story peaked about halfway through. <laughs> I haven't read the manga. You have. Of course I've read the manga. You've read every manga uh, ever- OH SHIT! Okay, I may or may not have just shot a friendly, but it's okay, it was in self-defense. <laughs> Is it in self-defense? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm gonna- In the trees. They're always in the trees. That's how this works, Timmy. Ah, uh, ankle deep water, my old nemesis. Let's get freaking. This old. is how, this is how you move through ankle deep. Whoa, shit! <laughs> <laughs> you get leeches. This is what you get. You le you get leeches, dysentery, trench foot. Oh. Are you alright? Get off me! Yeah, I'm fine. He's uh. smacking me with his spear. Spear. Wow. Arasaka. Are you being culturally insensitive? <laughs> Um, just because they use bamboo it doesn't mean they've it, got No, to it's it's a wooden stick with a pointy bit on the end of it. Therefore, it is in its essence a long spear that goes bang if you pull a trigger. <laughs> yeah, sure. An aggressive spear, spear reloaded, if you will. <laughs> the sequel to the spear that the, nobody else. This is the role. This is the role of the social historian <laughs> to find out stupid shit like this. Is is the spear my spear? simply is the spear simply a sh a gun without a explodey part? <laughs> Actually, that's a good without the chemical reaction of gunpowder. It is simply grenade. That's the thing: a musket without the gunpowder in it is technically a club. So, like, I exactly. mean, exactly, you know. The American Civil War would have been so different if we considered it to be fighting with <laughs> spears. <laughs> spears that happen to have a projectile. Yeah, but the thing is, there were like almost no bayonet wounds in, in the Civil War. They were that was the problem. They all planned for a war with bayonets, and they ended up using tactics to make use of the bayonet. To quote uh, Thomas Jackson, "You must give them the bayonet, uh, or at least a shitty movie that." was supposedly based on his life um but like no oh wow okay he's right here ah, ah, stop stop i actually have a hachimaki i can wear but you know i'm not is this okay so back here let's let's roll back <laughs> this is this a historically accurate japanese machine gun yes it is it's a type 92 nambu machine gun however there it doesn't go. it does not have it does not have ammo in it so that's kind of disconcerting. <laughs> Which it's going to be more makes it all the more impressive when you fire it and kill people with it. Exact, exactly. Now that is an exceptionally impressive club. <laughs> <laughs> I think I no, by my definition it ceased to be a club because a spear rather because it has no wood. Isn't it like purely metal parts that one? So what is it? It's just a very, very, very blunt sword. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a metal club at yeah, that point. Like it's not a spear, about. it's just a club. No, you, well, you know what it could be? It could be like a, what is it, like a wakazi or whatever, like 
what was it? That fucking shitty ass fanfic that you were forced to read in your English literature class, where some guy like said Edo Japan oh. never ended. And, like, okay, so I'm not gonna put this guy on blast on the entire internet, but a dude in my class wrote a fan fiction with really poorly translated Japanese words in English, except without realizing that most of the words in the Japanese were loan words from English. So he was translating twice, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm looking at it, he's like, ah yes, they call, they call a pistol like a wakaji because it's a small, okay. it's a small Okay, I'm blade. going in. Ah, right, here we go, war crime number one, oh! Immediately didn't, wrecked. Didn't even get to war crime because he didn't wait for the smoke, which we were provided with earlier, that we used earlier to save <laughs> each other's lives. But Hold on, know, I've got this. Yeah, nice. Uh, just freaking gatting away with the uh, 45. I believe in you, Evie. No, but he's like using terms like wakashi and all that sort of thing as like word for pistol. And like the Japanese, like by the time the Edo period rolled around, like the Japanese had firearms. So they already had words for all of these things. They would just use that. <laughs> yeah, you. It, this is the sort of thing where like, look, I don't support you. No, you know what? Scratch that. I don't support your... He's still alive. You don't support what? Uh, anyway, I don't support people who write like historical fan fiction without doing the work at the best of the time. But like, I extra don't support it when you do this in such a way where you just like badly use modern like slang that wouldn't be used in a time period based on this weird alt history you've built. Okay, now here's a big inaccuracy. Where did those B-17s come from? Like, I know that B-17s did have long-range capability, and they did do long-ranging ra raids in the Pacific. But, like... Man, that is a long-ass flight. If they're flying from New Guinea, holy shit, that is a long-ass flight, and they needed to land somewhere on the way. Maybe Henderson Field, Ow. Guadalcanal, but again, that is a long flight. Like, this is... We are a long way up the island chains in the Pacific for those B-17s to be out here. Not totally impossible, but I want to know what base they flew from. And oh, I I'm really sorry. hope those those crews had a thermos full of coffee. Like, they absolutely needed one. Okay. Wow. Rip the homie. Goddamn. I need more BAR ammo. Holy shit. Oh! All right, so this is really cool. I don't want to just throw a front grenade at my feet like that. Now, you see, the funny thing is, I didn't see my guy load a blank round in here. So I'm about to fire a live round into a grenade, so let's see how that goes. Yeah, it works. Sick. I always thought rifle grenades were one of those really cool things from World War II. So by the way, Ivy, just so you're aware, you're the guy with the flame right yeah so we kind of need you before we can go in uh, okay come on let's go <laughs> oh that was a horrible sound Whoa. Ow. we just press up to the wall and then our homies oh damn you're right Jeff Jesus oh shit back in the hole I go God, this game does not take liberties with how horrible that sound is. <laughs> what, people getting burned? Yeah. It really is dreadful, isn't it? Like, it's absolutely horrifying. It's but not as bad as, say, like, Rising Storm, but yeah, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> I think that's what makes this game so good, though. Like... Is you, the horrifyingness? Yeah, you enjoy, you like, you relish in the slaughter and the violence, and then you just sort of sit back and go, "Man, that was traumatic. That was horrifying. Like that, that was nasty. Like this, like look at all the death and destruction we're walking through. It's just absolutely awful." And look, and this SMG is bottled correctly. Fuck you, Vanguard. Look at this, this magnificent thing. Got a death card. Nice. King of Hearts. All right, where are we at? 
I have no idea. I'm just wandering around. <laughs> I oh, forgot we're this. at this stupid bit. Ah, oh, yeah. We gotta go in the bar in over here. I think in here. Do we have to go down here? No, we have to go over here. Like huh. out inside these bunker systems, because our M4 That's Shermans right. are apparently losing to to Japanese tanks. Somehow. <laughs> Something, 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 ura. No, but... Okay, where, where the uh, US Marine Corps so it's hoorah. That's but, what I mean. <laughs> something, something, ura. <laughs> no, nah, no, 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 no. There's the Russian, which is ura. Okay, so, can I just... These are M4 Shermans. You have thick armor. You have 75mm guns. Why are we here with bazookas? Why do you need us? Like, this is stupid. This whole thing is stupid. I love this game, but this is dumb. Like, like this is dumber than Vanguard dumb. One... No, that's a Sherman. Don't shoot our guys. They're very hard to miss. They're the tanks that don't look like ass. And that one. Nice. I see the last one. You see it? Yeah. You have a 75. Just point it at the dude and shoot him. These, what are these? Have you got any bazooka rounds left? Because I'm out. How? What? How are you dead? His gun Who? can't penetrate your armor even at that distance. How are you dead? Did they have like, did they steal one of our bazookas? Did they, did you get hit by an anti-tank gun? How did you die? Wow, that fucking Ow. tank. That tank is taking it. Now, there you go. You're welcome. Hey, you do it. Like, I'm, I'm too busy enraptured in the stupidity of the fact that these Shermans lost. You needed Marines to defeat these things. <laughs> we, I mean, yes, we can defeat them with a rock. But, well... Can we like, also defeat them by tripping over our own dicks? Um... No, I mean, I mean, well, actually, <laughs> I'm thinking about it now. Dep <laughs> depends on the size and girth, you know, weight. <laughs> There's a lot of factors to take into this. The, a, Marine, a, a Marine Corps rifleman's uh, girth is impressive, I am reliably informed. And they all know about it. Sounds too, because... like Marine Corps propaganda. <laughs> no, oh. it's not Marine Corps propaganda. It's because uh, Marines get to check each other's when they... Uh, you know, go out there. They are a department of the Navy, after all, so that's to be expected. Oh, I'm behind their lines by complete accident. Oops. Yeah, that's what you kept getting banged, like dudes were trying to bang you on the head, and I was like, stop, stop. Every Marine knows about getting banged on the head, am I right? There we go. War crime. Oh, I got hit. Ow. 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 I love how you take one hit in hard, and it's just like... Yep, you are instantly... Confused. Which is even more impressive because I'm using the flamethrower and I keep setting myself on fire. They're here to ask us about who we voted for in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Oh no. <laughs> They're not going to like my opinions. <laughs> do, you, do you even have an opinions on the entries this year? Yes, that none of them deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like... Oh shit, I need to rescue Ibby. No, we're going to lose the mission because I'm Die. It's okay. I'm sniping. With your pistol. Can yeah. I res Ivy or like oh no, it will yes. let me res Ivy. Excellent. What I love about it is that One Direct Priority got nominated for like every single category, just about. And it's not gonna win a single one. Yeah, rightfully so. After it fucked up that badly. Yeah, look, after it fucked up the ending like that, you're probably right. It I think it deserves best character. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Oh, and, yeah, we're, uh, we're about to get rescued. Yes, F4U Corsairs, thank the gods. I still think the one- This is not what I meant to do. <laughs> Wait, did you just get on the gun? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I no, oh, rest. Right, yeah, that's right, we got it. I still think Wonder Egg Priority deserves, it absolutely does deserve best character the, design. What, best character design of last year. Yeah, of last year, for sure, 100%. <laughs> I'd have to look at the lists in, like, detail to be certain. 
And Roland kept yelling. I mean, actually, like, its only competition would be, like, like maybe Vivi. Also, Odd Taxi got mentioned a lot, but I didn't watch Odd Taxi. I've heard good things. Odd Taxi's pretty good. Um, I feel like in a... I feel like it suffered from sort of a flat season hype. Like, yep. there was sort of a lot... Not that, like, it sort of, like... People were looking for something in that season. Yeah, and the problem I had with it was, it was just sort of like... It felt like... You know what it is? We're doing Burn Em Out now. You know what it is? It's like, um... It's like freaking the same thing about hype around Beastars. Where it's like, oh yeah, it's uh, it's an animal anime. Like, there's like, you know, anthropomorphized it, animals. And all that it's, 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 it's the Hazeki no Kuni thing. Or like, Land of the Lustrous. Where, like, Land of the Lustrous is a legitimately good series. The thing is, though, is that, like, when you come from the West, it's just edgy Steven Universe. <laughs> Actually, how the fuck am I already <laughs> down? What the shit? Oh, Lord. All right, we need smoke. No, but, you, yeah, like, Land of the Lustrous is actually insane, though. Like, that's, oh, yeah. that's what's kind of crazy. Like, the CG... The CG work on Land of the Rust Lustrous, you don't actually see that in anything other than like Mamoru, Mamoru Oshii like production IG stuff. Like Skycrawlers and that. You don't actually see it that much. Like, ow, ow, who shot me in the back? Like, proper Rude. CG in anime is rare. Like, we saw from the first episode of like Golden Kamui what CG can really do when it's, um... Masterfully deployed! <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that bear was bearable. <laughs> I hope you die from your own fire. Ow. Well, suck shit. Sucks to be you, bro. You died first. <laughs> Wait, I I think I vaguely remember you getting downed right at the start of the mission. <laughs> yes, but I have a flamethrower. Oh, we got snipers. Oh shit. Yep, that's who was shooting me. And there Where we the go. Like, man, I hate this mission. It's just. Cancerous I think at least it, 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 it is a pain in the ass, but I feel like it at least captures the nature of this particular campaign. That is a colossal fucking pain in the ass. We've got a window. We have to ensure anime exists. <laughs> Please stop sitting on fire. Think about it this way, unless we win this campaign, Grave of the Fireflies will never be made. <laughs> that's true, that's true. And then we won't learn about how war is bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, every single Hayao Miyazaki film for like the past 20 years. <laughs> for forget that, half 30 years, like, past 30 years, it's like, war bad. Like, let's think about it. what's his track record? We've got... We've got Porco, Porco Rosso. Rosso, we've got... What? Um, oh my god! And Jesus again. fucking Christ! And we'll get him up, watch him get like knocked down immediately. I got the guy on the gun, so... And I set you on fire yet again. Um, oh my god. It's like We're what? both getting brought up on disciplinary charges <laughs> after this! <laughs> Come on, if we, weren't, if we didn't get it for the last thing we did, we're definitely getting it for this one. No, but like, what? Porco Rosso. Like, actually, that's not fair, because like, my favourite Ghibli film is The Wind Rises. About... That's war is bad. Yeah, but it's Jiro Horikoshi. And oh my god! Game over. Oh wow, how am I alive? How did you survive that? I don't know. Ah, oh, fucking hell. You got smoke? Yeah, I um, popped it in front of me. Front of Mew. Front of Mew. Rarest Pokemon. Okay, fucking... Where are you, you bitch? There you are. Oh! Eat shit. Where's the other one? I took the guy out of the tree. That one. Oh... Dude, the flamethrower is so satisfyingly evil to use in this game, isn't it? <laughs> Just like... Don't shoot, let them burn. Let them burn. God, this is just an absolute fucking... Oh, Jesus.
Fun fact about Japan. Unit 731, the oh. guys responsible for, you know, deploying chemical and biological weapons in China, resulting in the death for of all that people. bad shit. <laughs> yeah. For all the bad shit. They never got prosecuted. They just turned all their research data over to the Americans and they were like, yep, yeah, all good. All good. Ah, uh, I sure good. love the Cold War. Yeah. Um. What's even like, what's really even more interesting is just how that went along across the entire board. Like people, like there's so much about that that people don't understand. For example, speaking of chemical weapons, the guys who uh, were responsible for producing Cyclone B for the concentration camps in Germany. Oh, oh, they, nice. They were, they were all rounded up at the end of the war. They were all released without charges and they kept their money. And they're now America, one of America's largest pesticide manufacturers. Uh, hold on. I've got a gun for you to check, by the way, after this bit. Yeah? Yeah, I've got a scoped Arasaka. I want you to have a look at the uh, scope. Uh, give me it. We need to take out but these. First of all, ah! the snipers are going to kill us. Smoke? I, I, I can't get you. Uh, I'll try it. Hold up. I'm putting my smoke grenade in the water because that's effective. That'll work just fine. See you in hell. <laughs> Very vaguely in the background. Holy shit! What happened to you? You were like, le you were like glitched in the matrix. Hey, do me a favor. Fire around for me. Hold on a sec. I just need to spot one of these tree bastards. Yeah, I can. I can see that we got snipers in the trees. I just can't see them. What snipers? Are, that, that, that's a, a whole point. It's annoying for us, but. Do me a favor. Reload that thing. Okay. Can you use this tripper clip or no? Ow! Hold on. Can you use this okay. tripper clip to reload that? So or? use. Do you want me to uh, empty the ra rounds then? Yeah, just empty the rounds and see if you can use this tripper clip. Because I want to see if they modeled it correctly in this, or do you have to load it one round at a time? Okay. And one at a time. Yep, okay. Why? Like, the whole point about that offset sight is the fact that you can still use the stripper clip. Vanguard did that too. I think it's like a balance thing. Like, oh, we can't have a sniper rifle that can be reloaded quickly. Frag. But, like. Alright. Whoa. That is so satisfying. Oh, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Grenade. I'm sandwiched between two grenades. Oh shit, ow. All right. How did I survive that? Oh my How god. How did we survive that? How are we still alive? Fuck me dead. Oh shit, run. Alright, and running in. Wow. Thank you. Give me my machine gun. I love this machine. Thank you, Polonsky. <laughs> I'll try to get you, buddy. I'm gonna get you. Guy on there's gone. Now's the time. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oops, took out one of our boys. I love how all of our squad are like dead three times over, and then we're like, yep. Lucky we've got internal reinforcements or <laughs> something. Oh, there's more grenades in here if you need them. Yeah, I got them. Frag out. Wait, isn't this- isn't just the use of this gun a war crime? What, the shotgun? Yeah. No. The chairmans will say it is, but they can eat a dick. This is all about democracy, baby. They can't handle- It's a democracy gun. It's a democracy dispenser. It's not a gun, it's a democracy dispenser. Shotguns are democracy Oh, I hate this tunnel. I hate this tunnel. This tunnel has caused me more grief in veteran difficulty than fucking any other part of the Japanese campaign. I thought blowtorch and core screw was pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But this one section, oh. Case in point. How my life? We're not. We're not. <laughs> Dude, like, the moment we tried to push up, like, 
five grenades just landed on us, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, what happened? Uh, I got shot. <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, though, like the fucking TTK in hardened and veteran in this game, they're actually silly. Like even by Call of Duty standards, and I actually really enjoy it. It's kind of like uber difficulty in Wolfenstein, where you're just kind of like, Im oh, you're, 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 it's like gets. Dark Souls. You've got to embrace the suck. Got to embrace. I did like that one of your fans brought up Wolfenstein in the. Uh... I mean, technically one of our fans. Thing is you're eh. on my ah! Oh my god! Ow! Ow! Holy ow. shit! Ow. I just threw three grenades back! Yeah, see what I mean? Grenade spam! What a game! It's... What a concept! What an idea! Oop, right, almost yeah. shot Robuck in the head. Oh yeah, I'm set for life. I have the stupid gun! Oh, I love that thing. Eat shit, boys. Toasty. Toasty. Ow. That was unkind. Then one, oh. and then another Russian. I'm staying on the tank. Never mind, it took me off the tank. Yeah, because again, we've got like... Oh shit, I almost got run over by the champ. Browning 30 caliber machine. Really? How? Yeah, literally the instant I got off the tank. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, oh, you're right here. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Experience. Experienced historians know nothing about getting the art of get off the tank. <laughs> we have experienced beige. Oh, god damn. So, everyone's favorite anime, Girls on Panzer. Girls on Panzer. What? Sanders Gone Wild. <laughs> Sanders versus uh, Chihatan Academy. Right now. Rip. That's finale. What? Like, you really should get into Girls on Panzer. It's a great time. Oh, God. I'll watch Girls on Panzer one day. <laughs> Been saying that about, like, literally every. <laughs> Motherfucker! How? <laughs> this is insane! I swear to god, like, the Russian missions aren't as hard- Oh, grow your grenade, grenade, oh god! The Russian missions aren't as hard as this. Ow, fuck! Oh. <laughs> what the hell is going on? You guys deserve both of them. And y'all know exactly what I mean. This is ridiculous. This is actually silly. <laughs> I can't advance like four yards without getting my shit right. Oh, Browning 30 caliber machine gun. Fuck grenade. We are literally rocking the Basalone right now. We are just John Basaloning our way to victory. Like, I take two steps, and I'm, like, already down to, like, having to crouch behind a rock. Grenade out. Oh, there you go. There goes Ivy. And there we go. That's what we're keeping our smoke grenades for. God damn. We're dead. Oh, no! We lived! Billy? No, we didn't. Take just, me, Prolonsky. We're just gonna tag team revive our way up this hill. <laughs> That's how war works. I was assured by the incredible creative genius that is this game. Now, rip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man? This mission is just gonna be a compilation of you just like putting out a bunch of you died, you died, <laughs> you died. I hate this mission. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake! Bursting! Doesn't even get to the first piece of cover, just instantly dies. What the hell is this shit? Look at all of our friends eating it, like... Level design! Oh, 
god. This feels more Vietnam. <laughs> nah. This is this is pretty apt of the Pacific. It's just that Well, give me my machine gun back, you asshole. Ow, and back down behind the tree again. And I'm down. I'm gonna hide behind this rock. Ow. Oh my god! Stop it! How did you die? How did I die? Because I stepped out. <laughs> and we're back here again. Oh, we didn't even get the, to ride the tanks this time. Amazing. Me what? in. What's in the... But did you check the bunker? Yeah, there's shotguns. Ah, fuck. Scoped Springfield. Yup. Nice. Oh, How's it grenade. look? That, that grenade literally landed right in front of me. Ah, fuck. I don't know. I can't use Sorry. the scope because immediately take like five bursts of machine gun fire and I'm going to suck my head out. Oh, I don't. There's a grenade. And back. Jesus, this is ridiculous. This mission is actually stupid. And I remember that this was one of the easier ones. It's probably easier on the easier difficulty. It, we're playing on Harden, though. Oh my god! How many grenades do I need to fucking throw? Oh, Jesus! There's another one. Throw that one back. Nice! I can't snipe because I take rounds the moment I stick my head up. There we go, I'm taking out, I'm taking rounds, taking rounds, taking rounds. Oh, that's a grenade. Oh, I'll take a scope, Springfield. That guy didn't... God damn, this is insane! This feels like, you know, you remember that freaking like, oh fuck, fuck, fuck! You know that, um, you know the uh, first major battle scene in Attack on Titan? Where yeah. the Titans attack, like, past the second wall, and they're all retreating through the town, and they're trying to get gas for their freaking ODM gear? It feels like that. It's like every time we advance three feet, half of our squad just dies. <laughs> Including us half the time. Oh, Jesus. Grenade. Reloading. I'm down. Fuck. Sake. Oh, fuck. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Just want this mission to be over, man. Oh god! Oh god! Run! Run! God. Oh, I can deploy the bipod. Yep. Oh, there's the flick. Reloading. God damn, this is this is just depressing. I can't think of anything funny to say. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> this is painful and depressing, and there is no joke. <laughs> Don't you wish you could be buying this ad space? Shop now on Squarespace. Yeah, I... that, that actually probably would be funnier than this entire section. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, brutal. Actually, it's probably funnier than, you know, I don't know. Us getting walloped? <laughs> I mean, true. Yeah. Funnier than half the comedy anime that came out this year. Oh. Well, no, it, something, like, something, something, something. I can't think. Uh, can you name a funny anime that came out this year? Just one? Um... Like, I feel oh. like I should be able to because I feel like there was a fun, there's some funny series out this year, but like, yeah, and, and like obviously other than like the typical like how like comedy is in like every Japanese series, like 
Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, because, like, one of the nominations for, like, the Crunchyroll Anime Awards for comedy this year is Komi-san Can't Communicate. And I'm like... That, oh, I guess that, that is a, a rom-com that leans into the com, if you know what I mean. And not the communism. No, that's for our other podcast. Uh, no. <laughs> Could you imagine if we started a leftist podcast? It's just us eternally screaming into the void for half an hour about how governments suck. Yeah, oh, Jesus! That'd be accurate. We hate Fuck off. We hate fascists and we hate tankies. Woo! In our more glorious moments. In our more glorious Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow you what? Got, you, got, fu you got your shit. Oh, fuck. You got your shit rocked. I'm trying to revive you, but it's just telling me to touch grass. <laughs> I mean, Komi san can't communicate. Like, the gag sequences in that anime are fucking funny as shit. But they almost all come from. Whoa! <laughs> that definitely feels illegal. Uh, yeah, that's that's a war crime. Oh god! That's a war crime, but we're not directly contributing to it, so it doesn't <laughs> count. That's just a that's just an incidental war crime. I'm about to run out of bullets in my Springfield. This guy was this guy an officer? Looks like one. Getting low. Oh my god, this is insane. This is so fucking brutal. Holy shit. It's a bit like how a few people I saw on the uh, Russian campaign video interpreted our uh, uh, War Crimes Squared comment as being about the Kachusha rockets rather than just us uh, sh firing squad and then Molotov cocktailing people. I mean, Which, personally, I think that's actually a, probably a funnier interpretation. I mean, the Katusha rockets aren't a war crime, though. Yeah, they just hit a bunch of civilians. I'm sure that's okay. I mean, probably. I mean, Bomber Harris did nothing wrong, so... <laughs> we all know that Bomber Harris did absolutely nothing wrong. Like, the most based man. Didn't even get a statue, either. God, the cave systems are really well done in this game. Like, they are really well done. Oh my god! Oh my god! Because, like, the Japanese on most of their entrenched positions had cave systems. Especially on Iwo Jima, it's what it was famous for, but definitely on Peleliu as well, and they they really were this sort of, like, rat warren of absolute murder and death. That's why the flamethrowers are so useful. Besides... God, this place is fucked. Yeah, like... Oh, get off! Ask any of our veteran friends, because we have quite a few of them, and they'll tell you subterranean warfare is, like, the absolute fucking worst. This shit is, like, the pinnacle of fuck that. Like, no way. Like, forget this. Forget all of this. At least this amount of morphine is historically accurate, because where the guys who actually have it. Ow, son of a bitch, but there's not enough for us. Holy shit. Man, we are going to be higher than Hermann Goering by the end of this shit, man. I'm, I'm telling you. Like, we are going to be absolutely fucked up on heroin and morphine by the end of this. Oh, God. We've gone through so many Surrettes just because of how many times we need to be revived. This mission is just so long. It feels really long compared to the others. Maybe it's just because we're, like, having to stop behind a barrel and crouch for five minutes every day. This... It's funny, because in a lot of ways, this game is, like, a big prelude for what, like, be has become the modern, like, FPS. Like, Dude. run. Run to cover. Hide behind cover. Run to cover. Hide behind cover. Yeah, I mean, that's the big problem. That's one of, actually, the reasons I like Wolfenstein so much, because it's just... It's just so fluid. You're running around all the time. You're like dueling machine guns, and even on Uber. Also, it's also one of the reasons that I never get the achievements in that, the uh, perks in that game that require you to hide behind cover because I don't hide behind cover. <laughs> I want to run around killing people. I don't want to be stuck sitting in a in a corner. Oh. Regroup Can with our squad. Uh, I wanted to pilot the gun. Here, hold on. Let's let's. Ah, uh, I was gonna say reenact that scene from Vanguard. Let's put a grenade in this. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
That's an Iowa class battleship. So blowtorch and corkscrew, here we go. <laughs> oh, this is just getting worse and worse. Oh, oh the spider holes. The spider holes. Welcome to Okinawa, oh. ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of sad we didn't do a Iwo Jima mission in this game, but at the same time, I'm eternally grateful we didn't do a Iwo Jima mission in this game. Out. I find it kind of crazy. So, Call of Duty World of War had like, what, like four, three DLC, right? Uh, yeah, but they were all zombies. Yeah, but they had like multiplayer maps in them. But mm. like, they never increased the amount of, um, campaign. And that's so bizarre to me. And I, I feel like it's kind of like, is like, a, it was a sign of things that come, like now, you know? A sign of things that come, like me, whenever I have this flamethrower. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck. Out. Frequent fryer. Ha! <laughs> I got an achievement, frequent fry. Are you serious? <laughs> Man, Call of Duty did not give a single fuck back in the day. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did my grenade go where I wanted it? Oh, it did. Okay, cool. Man, the Battle of Okinawa was just the worst. Plus the fuck? Like, this was horrible. It's funny because, like, my grandfather was in, um, Guinea during the Australian campaign. And man, just some of the stuff he'd say about that was just like, that was bad enough. I can't imagine where, like, how bad Okinawa was. Ow. Wow, we just got murdered. Brutal. Dude, Okinawa was just absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculously bad. My spider hole now. Oh. <laughs> God, fuck this campaign. The jet, like, the freaking, the Eastern Front campaigns were just more fun. I'm sorry, they were just way more fun than this. Oh, eat your own grenade. Like, look at this shit. This is dumb, man. Like, we get <laughs> killed so much. Like, in the jungle, there's just no cover at all. Like, it's just... I guess that's at least... Like, and it's the, it's the problem, because, like, this game is built around, like, moving from cover to cover. It's not built for, you know, constantly not being in cover, because you die horribly. What's really... Oh, I'm about to die. Oh. What's really freaking incredible, though, is that I hear arguments that say, like, the Japanese campaign is all about, like, you know, the gameplay. I'd say it's the other... And that the Soviet campaign is about the story. I'd say it's the other way around, honestly. Yeah, there's lots of varied gameplay in the Japanese campaign. But it doesn't mean it's good. It's not that <laughs> tasteful COD loop. This is just a slog. It is just horrible yeah, this is slaughter. This is the, the... See, this to me speaks to, like... Uh, like... We remember this game positively because for a lot of us, it was, like, our childhood COD. Like, this was our COD, not, like... You know, the Modern co Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, etc. Oh, I'm dead. Surely to God. No, amazingly. No, I mean, I wouldn't say that. Like, I would say that this is good gameplay. But, like, I would say that it's actually the reverse. I say that this is more the thematic story-driven. Like, yeah, the characters may not be as strong, but in terms of actually oh, depicting... In terms of actually depicting how horrible the real war was, this campaign is actually way better than the Soviet one. Because this is just hell. This entire campaign is just hell. The Pacific was nasty. This is just... Spider holes, flamethrowers, constant fucking suicidal Japanese charges, throwing obnoxious amounts of grenades. Fun, f fun thing Japanese soldiers used to do when they were wounded, they would wait for American medics with a grenade ah, on fuck. them, because an, uh, because a Japanese grenade needs to be struck to ignite the primer to fire, right? So they would wait until a medic would come along, 
and then they would hit the primer and blow themselves up with the American medic with them. Which is why American soldiers double tap wounded Japanese so often. Because they would just set off the grenade. Like, this war was... The Pacific War especially was just absolutely horrifying. Oh, I'm gonna oh die. shit. Nope. Holy shit. That guy just got blown the fuck up. But I one it's the one thing I love about the flamethrower is like games today would just games today would just like, you know they would they would show the flamethrower being used and they would have like the guys screaming going, ah oh, whatever. Right? Not they the would, slow burn to they death would thing, have but it, they do but it in like, this. In this game, they're like writhing and screaming in pain and then dying a horrible, lonely, agonizing death. And like, that's that's what flamethrowers do to people. Like, it is the worst. We joke about it with our war crime counter, but at the end of the day, it is literally the worst way to die. And, okay, look, I am... I am a lifeguard, and if you, t nine times out of ten, if you ask me, I'll answer that the worst way to die is dry drowning. But, like, this, close second for me. Burning to death, not high on my list of ways I want to go out. For Australians, it's also liable to happen if we live out bush. Trust yeah, and considering I've lived out bush for most of my, like, childhood, not a big fan of dying. You got me killed. Wait, what happened there? Why did we both die? I don't know, man. Oh, ow! Thank you. Oh god! <laughs> we are just dying. We're <laughs> dying so much. This is ridiculous. It's not like we're. It's not like we're like going out there trying to like randomly get shot. I don't know if I've accidentally set this to veteran, but like, look at this. Oh, this is brutal. Stupid helmet, we're dying. There's a grenade. There's a guy on the other side. Took him out. Nice. Like, we're just dying constantly, over and over again. Like. And you know, part of me is, like, really appreciative of that. Like, I don't mind, like. Like, part of me actually kind of likes it in the same way I like ducks. Ah, uh, here we go. How masochistic are you? No, well, you see, the thing is, if you see, like, COD Vanguard and, like, even Battlefield's campaign missions and so forth, like, you, you have to try to die, basically. I've seen clips of Vanguard, even on the highest difficulties, you have to try to get killed. In this, you just die. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it sometimes. Alright, I'll leave the satchel charge to you, because I apparently don't have a key bound for it. Oh, Jesus! God, this is fucking awful! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! There's no cover! Like, wh <laughs> like what the fuck are we I'm lying in a ditch! Like... I don't have any smoke. I've used it all to try. Hold on. I'm down. This is the only cover that was there, so I went to it. Oh god! Grenade. Yep. There it is. Just look at this shit. Like, come on, man. Brutal. I'm fucked here. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, that was a really cool animation just there that you mildly burnt a guy and he was like tapping himself to put himself out, like patting himself down. Nice little touch. I'd appreciate it more if I wasn't getting absolutely melted. Eh, I'm down again. Holy 
shiver me fucking timbers. Jesus, this whole goddamn mission is just oh. brutal. This is the one thing I really like the fact that they've nailed the ambience of of Okinawa because Okinawa was soaked with rain. They they hit it during the monsoon season, and there was just quagmires of mud, and it was just awful. That's the thing that this game nails better than anything else. It's like the ambience. It's just that. Oh fuck! What kill? Like I want to know what's killing these Shermans. Like I'm gonna like take stock of how many Shermans were knocked out in the Pacific Theater. Ow! Uh, I'm gonna look it up. Just how many Shermans were lost in war in the war against the Japanese? Grenade. Got it. Oh. Holy shit! Oh, that hurts. I'm Don't just... stand up. Don't stand up because you're right in the like hole that the MG, MG can shoot you through. One and two. Okay. Fuck in hell. God. This is like this is more painful than that fucking Endro show we watched. This is actually more painful than actually no. Oh, I think I'm fucked. I'm in. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Actually, more painful than Endro. Oh, whoops. That's the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, it is. Oh fucking hell! Fire the holes. <laughs> Grenade. Fuck, get out of the hole! Not well, the first time we've heard that one, I'm sure. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, that, that's bad, that's bad. Yeah, you know, but you, you occasionally pick the wrong one, shit happens, you know. Fuck! You get yelled at for it. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, that was fucking brutal. Holy god. This is genuinely horrifying. Um. Where do we go? Right down here. Ah, uh, into the hole. Yep. Any holes a goal, man. Specifically this one. Oh, fuck it. Up. I think that one can get past. <laughs> Oh, nasty. <sighs> Hold on, reloading. I don't think I'm going to include a war crime counter for this one. <laughs> I'm going to be there all week. Indeterminate war crimes. It's, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just labelled indeterminate war crimes, that's it. <laughs> Up I can't, like, there's no war crime encounter in this one because I literally can't be asked. There's just too many. There's just too fucking... I have a flamethrower. There's just literally too many. God. Oh, I just bounced a grenade off a dude's head. That's what we call a Kobe. Oh, 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 that was nasty. What? What did you do? I shot a dude's head off and it like peeled off backwards. That was, that was nasty. <laughs> Stop shooting me. I'm just blindly shooting at this point. Case in point. God. Hello, friend. I'm gonna get you up. I'm going to. I'm gonna jab this morphine into your crotch, and you're gonna feel fine. <sighs> I got killed by that grenade. I was all the way over here, and I got killed by that grenade. Oh god. Plonsky, you traitor! We got mortar positions above us. Can we just like lay C4 and blow it up like from down <laughs> here then? Yeah, let's use those satchel charges for what they're good for. Like blast the roof down? <laughs> Outstanding, Marine! Out fucking standing! <laughs> 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 
start dealing with our wounded. God fucking damn it. Oh, that mission. Oh, that mission. Oh! Hold on, kid. We're gonna get you out of here. Help me get him on the truck. Oh no, we're not done. You even push your head and take Shuri Castle. But we're running on empty here. You'll have a supply drop out of Shuri Castle. Holy shit. Man, like we ain't getting shit till tomorrow. Okay now it was just absolutely horrible. Look on the bright side. I don't blame the Americans for what they decided to do afterwards because quite frankly if invading Japan resulted in this all the way up the Japanese home islands then you can kiss my ass forget it <laughs> forget it yeah. like absolutely not you know fun little historical tidbit they started making purple hearts preparing for the invasion of Japan and they and based on the predicted casualties, they made so many that there hasn't been a new batch of purple hearts being made until just recently. They were issuing purple hearts made for Operation Downfall from 1945 all the way until now. So they've been using the same batch of purple hearts since 1945 just because the prospective casualties were so high. I'd like to correct myself. I'd completely forgotten what season. Oh no, wait, that's the new season of uh, Odd Taxi, isn't it? No, no. Holy shit! That was twelve months ago. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to twenty twenty two. Wow. Okay. Yeah, no, I was just looking at what was on that season. I was like, oh, that was the season that Nagatoro and shit were in. Can you can you please explain to me the appeal of Nagatoro because I still don't get it. Nagatoro appeals to a group of people who want a strong domineering woman to like basically grab you by the ears and yank you towards being a better person. That is the appeal of Nagatoro. Yeah. If you don't fit into that like that you need someone else's help or any number of things then Oh, I definitely need a strong woman to help me get out of my own shitty existence. But, like, I don't think bullying me is the way to go. Psychological warfare is not the way to get me to change my ways. Desperation. I see you. I see you. No. I have no bullets. Why do I have no bullets? Because you needed to get ammo. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to go back and get bullets. Or you, not. You didn't make it. Well done. God, the Pacific Campaign fucking... Ah, oh, shit! And we are restarting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just splice this. We'll, uh, splice no. footage. we'll, we'll splice the footage. <laughs> nah, uh, dude, I'm gonna keep every death in. I'm just gonna keep all of them in. It's just like... This campaign is just... So horrifying. I... I... But that's the thing, the whole teasing craze just seems wild to me. I, I don't oh, understand the appeal of it. Like, I just really um, don't. Um, it depends on the series. Because, like, some I get, some I don't get. But, I mean, I read, like, the majority, especially the popular ones I read. Um, the teasing thing's a weird thing. And I think it's a partly because of, like, some, like, cultural shit that's going on right now, especially in Japan with, like, the stuff going on with herbivore men, etc. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah. Because like, think of like, talking about classic anime we've had, I mean, Evangelion Rebuilds wrapped up. Have you seen the Rebuilds yet? No. I haven't. We should binge the Rebuilds together, because like, that, that quite frankly sounds like a good time. Although we still need to watch that damn freaking anime we rolled Edgy. for our podcast. We need to take them out. Was it like... Edgy, uh, unalive yourself manga. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard one to talk about. Yeah, that's without gonna, without flagging. getting ourselves like. Fun fact. Um, apart that, it's not a censoring. They don't only censor me for like things that they think I should be teaching you about, like World War Two, because if I mention Nazi Germany, oh look, I've done it now. Um, the YouTube police are gonna come and hunt me down. But, uh, but Ivy and I here were having a conversation about an anime which is strongly themed around uh, the topic of, shall we say, cessation, cessation of existence by one's <laughs> own hand, shall we say. Ivy said that he was going to cease his existence by his own impetus, shall we call it. 
And then YouTube picked that up and then sent me an email asking me if I was okay and telling me that my family loves me. <laughs> like, bold of you to assume. B bold of you to assume that, YouTube. Well, you obviously don't have any self-worth. But, no. like, like, right now, anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm an honest student. What could go wrong? <laughs> It's not like I can, can get any lower. <laughs> I mean, I did, uh, due to my own stupid ideas, I did end up making <laughs> making you watch Valkyrie try. <laughs> uh, and I will never, ever, ever forgive you. You could, we could do better. We could watch a game. That is a requested thing. Maybe we'll make like a requested thing because I've had seen at least like four or five people request Gate now. <laughs> I mean, I like Gate. Like, I really do like Gate. Like, it's a great anime for me, but it's also oh, like know. it also like flat out justifies Japanese rearmament and Japanese imperialism. Okay, so interesting subject. For once, in the rare occasion, I have been reading. Oh shit! You've been reading all I've shit. Been, I mean, yeah. I've been reading a uh, German military history. Specifically, I've been reading about the um, Freikorps. Oh yeah. Those guys, they're um, fun. And one of the things you f I found most interesting about the whole thing is how um, just under-reported the insanity of that particular period is. And also, like, let's be honest, Social Democrats killed Rosa Luxemburg doesn't do justice how badly they fucked up. Well, like, the, the Social Democrat every step oh. of the way... Like, the Social Democratic Party of Germany basically hired what would become the Nazis to put down the communists. I mean, yeah, like, one of the guys who was behind the Freikorps is, like, uh, well, like, even the proto-Freikorps is Ludendorff, right? Yeah. And Noted you... World War I uh, leader. Yeah, and then you have Ernst Röhm, who is, you know, the head of the SA. And also a flaming homosexual. Yeah, he was the big gay. And then... One of the funniest things to me about Rome is that on the, like, Night of the Long Knives is that he is found with two other men in bed. I mean... Power move. The, not, okay. the, the Night of the so, Long yeah, Knives so... happens, and then they have... Uh, the they of, they yeah, hire... The, the, the Nazis themselves hire a Jewish communist to then burn down the Reichstag. Dutch. Don't forget Dutch. Oh, we have to blame the Dutch. A Dutch Jewish <laughs> communist burn down the Reichstag, and then they use that as justification. See, to now this is where my area comes into fucking play. One of the most interesting units I've had was a professor uh, who basically did a comparative history, breaking down whether or not the Reichstag fire was, like, a false flag or not, basically. Super interesting. Because, like, Lud- uh, not Ludendorff, um, the guy in question had, like, severe cognitive impairment. Ow. <laughs> now I do, because I just got fucking blown up. <laughs> blown, blown up, shot in the head. So it wasn't an inside job, is it? The conclusion I came to from, like, looking at the materials is that I think he, like, I definitely think he did it. I just think that the, like, ruthless propagandists were just also smart enough to see the writing on the wall and what they had to do. Yeah, like... Like, I find it kind of interesting that the... that the Reichstag fire decree shares a lot in common with, uh, you know, certain other legislation. <laughs> That happened recently after a certain big event in 2001. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Except a little bit more in a little bit more extreme. Yeah, just a little bit. Which is interesting because this is something that I always find interesting, and it's the like social side of like fascist policies, especially during the Reich, is that like a lot of people have a very skewed perspective on what like fascism is because like you hear like constantly you know fascism is when you do violence against your opponents which no <laughs> i mean the most common one every I, the most common one i see in my comment section is that fascism is actually a form of socialism which you know like you if you actually start to examine these things you'll see that not only is that like a ridiculous like idea um 
it's more interesting to actually examine it as it is, right? Like, the Nazis did have an anti-bourgeois ideology. However, it wasn't bourgeois as a, like, class. It was bourgeois as culture, right? <laughs> they saw it as, like, the excesses of society. Not... That was, like, letting down the common, like, German person. As opposed to, like, a communist who would argue that it's a class-based thing. Yeah. You know, the, like, bourgeois as a class has to go because, you know, they're oppressing the proletariat. Now, c compare and contrast the two. Also, you know, people who aren't even bourgeois get caught up in the idea of bourgeois decadence, right? Yeah. Because you start being like, gay people are a part of a bourgeois co- Fuck! They are part of a bourgeois fuck. Actually, yeah, that is a big- that is a big, uh... That is a- that is a big thing I've seen. They really like champagne. At least, in my experience, <laughs> they do. And the champagne leads to certain other activities. But yeah, go on. Um, but like, and that's something that like, I think is like, you can't understand the Nazis without being honest about their policies. Their policies weren't land redistribution, they weren't, you know, nationalization, they were privatization, you know, there is so much more. And it's more interesting if you don't just try to boil it down to, oh, well, they had socialists in the name, so they were socialists, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I don't think you do any justice to anything by doing, like, you know, simple, like, and I know that's the whole point. The whole point is to make it down into, like, Facebook, like, argument fucking bullshit. But, still, the world's a more interesting place when you, you know, look at it as it is, rather than shying away. Yeah, which is why I like this game so much, I think, in a weird way, because it, like, it doesn't... Because Vanguard does this thing where it's like, it transports a squad of woke millennials back in time to World War II, basically. Like, we have... A, we and have, that's the thing... We have, like, a white thing... Australian and a white American, and they're supposedly okay completely with a with the black man being in charge. Like, they yeah. Can, like, no like, way. <laughs> like, we've grown up in Australia. Like, we've seen this shit firsthand. That's not gonna be, like, a comfy haha -ha thing without any growing pains. Like, no, absolutely not. This The scene where he's like, I don't care what colour he is. I, I care because he's a bloody pot. No. Uh, nah. No, no, no. Especially in the 1940s and, like, the 19... Like... Yeah. One of the biggest things about Australia being part of, like, even though we're depicted, wow. Even though we're in, like, movies and TV, we're depicted as, oh, we call them poms because they're pompous and we want to get rid of our overlords. Like, the entire recruitment drive for both world wars for Australia was we were the Australian Imperial Force. We were defending the mother country against foreign invaders. Right? I'm like, oh shit! And we're supposed, and like, you know, whether, like, <laughs> For example, if you want to know how you want to know how race relations in Australia were during the 1930s, um, we didn't start counting our indigenous population as actual people until what, like the 1950s. There's there's an interesting story to that, and I haven't really got time to go into it. But like, it's a bit more complicated than that. People do love that story. It's a bit more complicated than that. I think the more important thing is is that Australia had an all white race riot in 2006, and I think that says more about where our race relations were in 1941. <laughs> yeah, because like, but TLDR for people who are for people who are unfamiliar with Australian race relations, and of course, like most of you are American, so like that's most of you. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> like, the reason why that's so ridiculous in Vanguard is just because in Australia, uh, like, it, was, it wasn't until, like, the 1950s that Indigenous Australians got recognised as human beings, because until then, they didn't appear on the census, they were listed as mm. part of the flora and fauna. <laughs> like, yeah. unironically. Like, we um, had Indigenous Australians serving in the army during the Second World War, <laughs> and they were technically not citizens. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things where I think, like, I think because of exceptionally good PR and TikTok, a lot of modern Americans think we're all just, like, chilled, like, laid-back people. But, uh, there's a lot, a I'm, lot here that's, like, I mean, unexamined. I would say that we are. I would say that generally, we're, I mean, like, we're, ch we're generally chilled out, but then, like, someone says, like... Don't, don't, don't. 
Don't do it. No. I could have told you that was going to happen. That's a real thing, by the way. Just so anyone knows. Man, he's got so many facial scars. God damn. I'm noticing the important things right now. Yeah. <laughs> People come here for the the historical analysis and breakdown, and then just you know, wait till we get called wokoid uh, wokoid plebs in the comments. Let's 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 rotate between uh, politically incorrect and uh, wokeoids because I don't know. We said people need rights. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's the thing is that there's so many interesting history. If you want to do like a historical like war game war like things, there's tons of interesting subjects about like segregated units or you know, um, like for example, years ago now, I wouldn't be able to tell you where or when what film it is. There was an Australian documentary about World War II that included a segment about Maori um, mortar units. And so they had the Australian mortar unit and they showed how that was like, how they fired a mortar. And then it cuts to like the Maori unit and they're just having the this great fucking time doing it. Like it's insane how fucking funny that footage was. Oh, here we go, P-51 Mustangs. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, the Maori's a badass. Just so badass. And like, yeah, like, I wouldn't be opposed to a game where we've got to play as John Brown or in John Brown's unit. <laughs> I mean, like, you can say it's futile, but like, how is like any of the Call of Duty missions where you play as like a doomed unit? Like... I don't think Ooh, there'll ever be really an interesting dead. game on the American Civil War besides like RTSs, and the RTSs will just edit the entire oh, socio-economic and political questions out of the game. Oh shit! Like I, I can't think like because War of Rights. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. War of Rights is a really good game for like role playing in. Like you can come on. Like War of Rights is really good for role play. Like. But you, I don't think there will ever be like a civil war game that like actually addresses the civil war. Yeah, because that would require like the thing is, and this is the thing that a lot of people don't want to hear, is that like nothing is ever as simple as like or uncompartmentalized, right? Like one of the most chilling stories I heard from like Vietnam's social side of things is after the assassination of Martin Luther King. Right? After the assassination of Martin Luther King, there's riots where, like, white American units put up Confederate flags and attack black soldiers. <laughs> there's, like, all out fucking brawls. Like, this shit is fucking crazy. But no, because that is way too hard to portray. Like, Vanguard can't touch that. Fuck no. Vanguard can't touch any of the complex issues it's trying to... Like, people call it Woke of Duty, and, like, we're the last people to throw stones on wokeness as it's become apparent from this conversation. But even so, like, there's so much good history you can do, which actually... If you actually care, if you actually care about these, like, tough issues, there's so much you can do. Because like, this game does go forward and, and address it. Like... It really does, like, go further, because this is the... This game is the only World War II game that Call of Duty has done, like, in its modern in its modern era. And it's weird to say that, given this game was made in 2008. That has really had the balls to tackle tough issues, like, tough moments, like, Soviet war crimes in Berlin. Japanese soldiers fake surrendering just now, like... Bro, no one in this thing is a good guy, and yet... Mm. In, like, you know, the moment you see modern warfare, it's, like, stereotypical Russian bad guy number 43A, evil commies coming to ruin America, go kill, crush, destroy. But...
for all the talk we've made about, you know, being sensitive, if there's one thing we can say what we've definitely done, what is it that we've done, Ivy? Nothing! Exactly, we've saved anime. <laughs> 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 we have ensured anime's existence. We've liberated the Pacific and ensured anime. Have we ensured uh, anime, you ask? Well, uh... Well, the nuke hasn't been dropped yet, so no. <laughs> Cue the montage. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>